sa inyo lahat. Today, I'm going to discuss quadratic equation. A quadratic equation in one variable is a mathematical statement of degree of 2. A quadratic equation can be written in the standard form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 where a, b, and c are real numbers provided that a is not equal to 0. So, tatandaan natin yung standard form niya. ax squared plus bx plus c. The values of a, b, and c are numerical coefficient of the quadratic term, linear term, and the constant term. So, importante, lahat ng given natin na equation, express muna natin sa standard form na ax squared plus bx plus c. Let's have an example. Number one, we have x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 0. Kung mapapansin nyo, naka-standard form na siya. Paano natin kukunin yung a? Ang value ng a ay 1. Understood na may 1 dyan. No? Ano naman ang value ng b? 4. How about the value of c? 4. Another example. 2x squared plus 6x minus 10 equals 0. So, naka-standard form na naman siya. Ngayon, makikita natin ang value ng a ay mas mataas sa 1. Anong value ng a? 2. So, kung mapapansin mo, yung 2 nakasulat na, unlike dito sa unang example. Kasi nga, understood na merong 1 kapag x squared lang ang nakasulat. Ano naman ang value ng b dito? Ang value ng b ay 6. Samantala, ang value ng c ay negative 10. Number 3. We have x minus 2 times x plus 5 equals 0. So, to get the product, we are going to use the FOIL method. F O I L. What is F? F is for the first term. X times X, we have X squared. How about O, outer term? Meaning, X times 5 is equal to 5X. How about negative 2 times x? Ano yung negative 2 times x? Ito yung inner term. So, your answer is negative 2 x. Ano naman yung L? Last term. Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. Equals 0. Ngayon, bring down the first and the last term. x squared and negative 10. For the middle term, dahil unlike sign sila, proceed to subtraction. 5x minus 2x equals 3x. Affix the sign of the greater absolute value. What is the sign of the greater absolute value? Positive. Then, equal to 0 na siya. So, naka-standard form na itong ating quadratic equation. Pukunin na lang natin yung value ng A, kung saan ang value niya ay 1. Value ng B is equal to 3. And, 
the value of C is negative 10. Number 4. Let's say meron tayong square of x plus 5 equals 0. Ano ibig sabihin yan? Meron tayong dalawang x plus 5. So, x plus 5 times x plus 5 equals 0. Dito gagamit tayo ng FOIL method. Tandaan natin yung FOIL ha? F para sa first term. x times x, x squared. O para sa outer term, x times 5, we have 5x. I para sa inner, 5 times x equals 5x. And L para, para sa last term, 5 times 5 equals 25 equals 0. Anong gagawin natin? Bring down the first and the last term. Now let us add. 5x plus 5x equals 10x equals 0. Ngayon, ano ang value ng a dito? Ang value ng a ay 1. Anong value ng b? Ang value ng b ay 10. Ano naman ang value ng c? Ang value ng c ay 25. So, number 5 naman, we have 2x times x minus 10 equals 0. Anong gagawin natin? We're going to use the distributive property of multiplication. So, 2x times x equals 2x squared. And 2x times negative 10 equals negative 20 x equals 0 naka standard for pa rin siya pero anong value ng A? ang value ng A ay 2 how about B? ang value ng B ay negative 20 kung mapapansin nyo wala ang C so wala tayong value sa C kundi Zero. Let's have number 6. Let's say we have the square of 2x minus 5. Equals x plus 10 times x plus 2. Dito we have the square of 2x minus 5. So, dalawang 2x minus 5. And then sa kapila, we have x plus 10 times x plus 2. So, gagamitan natin sila ng all method. Pareho. 2x times 2x. We have 4x squared. How about 2x times negative 5 we have negative 10 x negative 5 times 2 x negative 10 x negative 5 times negative 5 ilan? positive 25 ok, sa kabila tayo foil method ulit x times x x squared x times 2 we have 2x. How about 10 times x? 10x. And then, 10 times 2. Siyempre, 20. Ayan. So, tingnan natin may ikia. Ah. Bring down the first and the last term. Kabilaan. We have 4x squared. Ito naman ay 25. 
Then add the middle terms. Negative two, negative ten x plus negative ten x equals negative twenty x. Yan. Kung kabila naman tayo, equals. Bring down the first term and the last term. So ano gawin natin sa middle terms? At natin two x plus ten x. Simple we have well x. Ayun, gagawin natin sa quadratic equation. So, dapat itong nasa side na ito, lipat natin sa kabila. So, copy natin muna yung 4x squared. So, pag nilipat natin itong x squared na ito, magiging ano siya? Negative x squared. Then, we have negative 20x. Lipat natin yung 12x, magiging negative 12x. Then, copy natin yung 25. Lipat ang positive 20, magiging negative 20. So, lahat ng ito, nailipat na natin sa kabila. Wala nang maiiwang, kundi 0. Yan, quadratic equation na siya. O, simplify na natin. For x squared minus x squared. Siyempre, meron tayong 3 x squared How about negative 20x plus negative 12x ilan? Negative 32x Inad natin kasi like sign sila Di ba? What else? 25 minus 20 ilan? 5 So, naka-standard na siya. Standard quadratic equation na siya. Ngayon, ano ang value ng A dito? Meron tayong 3. Ano naman ang value ng B? Negative 32. How about C? Ang C ay ay So, sa quadratic equation, kailangan may isulat natin sila sa standard form na ax squared plus bx plus c para madali natin makita kung anong value ng a, b, and c. 